up fancy freaks hey y'all how y'all is doing okay y'all it's about to be a new year let's just put that out there right now y'all okay it's about to be a new year i'm very excited about that y'all so much in store for next year but we'll get into that okay so y'all we are here with our very last episode of my first season of the year and i'm so excited to share it with no other than mr kevin gates himself how you doing today baby I'm amazing. He's amazing, y'all. So y'all, y'all already know what we get into over here. So y'all know if anybody else is better to talk about sex, it's of course with Mr. Gates. So we're gonna get right into it and see what, you know, we can learn something new from him or something. I don't know. We're gonna see. What you think, Dre? You think we're gonna learn something new from him? Yeah, Dre say yeah. Y'all, Shantae is away over the pond, y'all, because it's the the holiday. So she doing her thing. So we still here. We're still making it. Okay, y'all, so remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Again, this is our last season for, for episode, uh, I'm sorry, our last episode for season one, and look forward to season two starting in the middle of, like, January. Okay, so about to get into it. Okay, Mr. Gates, so you know what kind of show this is, which is a sex talk show, correct? Right. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm aware. He's very aware. Okay, y'all. So I actually reached out to Mr. Gates when I seen him do an interview on semen retention. That's what it's called, correct? Yes, ma'am. Right, that's what it's called. So I reached out to him to see, like, okay, well, what is this he talking about in OLA? Because I've heard it before, but I didn't really hear it the way he talks about it. So can you give us a little background on what it is and if it's something that you still do, currently do, or is that just like a phase that you go through? No, um, Semen retention is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's not nothing that you could say, I'm just going to practice it for six months, so I'm going to practice it for this. I'm going to practice it for that. Um, It's a lot of people that on their semen retention journey, Mm -hmm. they have times where they will have weird dreams, and Mm -hmm. they'll come tell me, man, bro, I think I messed everything up. You didn't mess anything up. Mm-hmm. What's in your body going to naturally release. Mm-hmm. But semen retention is our life force. Right. And unless you're trying to create a child, then we don't release. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a way of life. Right. And so, yeah, I know semen retention is like where he holds the nut in. You don't nut, right? Yes, ma'am. So you stop before you have the nut? You stop fucking before you nut? Something like that, I guess, in a sense. So, do you ever release it any other kind of way? If not, like once you once you develop the skill of retaining, I'm not trying to go over nobody's head because I I know a lot of people say I, I say a lot of stuff that they don't understand, or I fine. try to sound smart, but it's okay. They got something called Kundalini energy that run up your spine and Dude, I guess retaining your semen to the time when it's about to release, mm-hmm. you can control it and take it back in your body, and you, your orgasm will go like through the top of your. It'll expand your aura, your energy field. Just my presence, just to be in my presence alone. People tell me they say your presence so strong, is right? Your aura, and like when you walk in the room, like people say, I can feel it. It's heavy, right? Because it's very, very powerful because of the lifestyle that I choose to live. Uh, Dre, do you hold back your nuts? No? Dre said. I'm not in that form. For the long... (laughs) Okay, okay. Uh, so how long have you been doing that? You been doing it a long time? Yes, ma'am. Like how long? I don't know offhand, but just a long time. And you plan on staying like that? Yes, ma'am. Look at me. Right. Like just look at me. I don't have on makeup. My right. Skin naturally glow. And you think all that comes from in there? I don't think. Nothing. Oh, you know. I know. Oh yeah, y'all know a man that talk like that, y'all. Yeah. yeah, I don't think nothing. Right. I don't like. My, I had to get my eyelashes trimmed. Right. My hair grow faster. Right. Like everything, everything just is. Right. Is, my fingernails, they, they, I gotta get them cut every almost other day. 
Mm-hmm. Like every time, it's your life force. It's mm-hmm. what heals the body. Mm-hmm. If a man release too much semen, he'll get sick. He can't re- he can't heal his body. That is your right. life force. You're giving up bone marrow. You're giving up hair follicles. You're giving up all of your precious mm-hmm. minerals and everything from your mm-hmm. body mm-hmm. into the womb of this woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When she taking that energy, going to do whatever she do with it. She's right. not putting it back into you. Now, it's some women that will reciprocate that energy. Right. But it's about you finding that partner that's in alignment with you. Mm-hmm. Like sex is not just wham bam, thank you, man. Right, this is of course. a spiritual it's, connection yes. that you're making with this person. Right. And I'm not fussing at nobody or trying to be hard on nobody right now, but I really been taking myself super serious. Like I didn't got off Instagram and I've been taking myself really serious right. right now. Right. Because it's just a time. Like the winter solstice just passed us. Mm-hmm. December 21st. Mm-hmm. For people that don't know what the winter solstice is, that's when the days get longer. Again. Right. Like, and that was that's, that was a very pivotal point in our existence. Mm-hmm. Like this winter solstice because this was the first one after the Great Reset that we got to experience. Right. Okay, well, a lot of y'all have requested me to try to get him here and talk to him and all that, y'all, because y'all say, uh, a lot of y'all call me, look, Kavina Gates. I think I told you about that. Because y'all call me that because y'all feel like we have the same freak level, which is crazy. Okay, so. That's not, that's not, no, that's not being no freak. That's aiming to please your partner. I say that. But this a lot of people not like that. I don't care what a lot of people not like. Sexual energy is healthy energy. Mm-hmm. When a person have erectile dysfunction, they not healthy. Right. That's restricted blood flow. So right. sexual energy is very healthy energy. That's the body being healthy. Right. But sexual energy don't mean that you take it and go you go beat your dick and shoot your semen in a in a sock. Mm-hmm. Sexual energy can be translated and used for other things. Mm-hmm. You could take it and use it to and translate it into working out. You can right. translate it into things that are benefit the body. You can translate it into music. You mm-hmm. can translate it into whatever it is that you're passionate about. Mm-hmm. They got some women that when they get extremely haunted, they'll get naked and go paint. Mm-hmm. And they say they come up with some of their greatest paintings yeah. by mm-hmm. translating that sexual energy. Right. So it's about how you use it. It's right. about being allowing it to flow because it's all energy. Right. It's like if you get upset or you get mad, that's anger. Mm-hmm. You don't have to take that anger and go break a plate or break a mirror. Right. You could take that anger and translate that energy into something that's going to be productive for you. Mm -hmm. And sexual energy is a very powerful force, but there's also another energy that's greater than that. And that's the energy of love. Mm -hmm. Waking up being grateful, waking up having gratitude. Right. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. So it's just that people just associate me with sex because I talk about it a lot. Because I celebrate it. That's the only thing that goes on in nature Mm -hmm. is reproduction. Okay, so what's is there something that you haven't done sexually that you want to do? You just haven't done it yet. Not really. You've done everything you want to do. Yes, ma'am. So can you tell us the most nastiest, freakiest thing you've ever done to you? I don't I don't really know. Because you do it all? Yes, ma'am. It depends on what all is, but I'm not a person that really receives pleasure. I'm a, like, pleaser. So I get off on pleasing my partner, knowing that I'm pleasing my partner, knowing that I'm making my partner have orgasms or multiple orgasms or, like, even conversations. Right. Like sexually related conversations, but in the respect in in the respect of it being a a, a spiritual thing, mm-hmm. like as far as a woman's throat and a mm-hmm. vaginal opening, it's mm-hmm. the same. Mm-hmm. A woman can orgasm from her throat. A woman can orgasm from her eyes, her ears. She can mm-hmm. orgasm from any cavity that she got. Mm-hmm. A woman's throat is the same as her vaginal mm-hmm. opening, mm-hmm. as above, so below. Mm-hmm. So is I believe it's just beautiful like that if you're looking at it in that respect. But as far as just me just, I don't just give myself to know anybody. You got to really, you got to be deserving of, of this blessing. Because this is life-changing. It's a life-changing experience. Any woman that I'm with, they will never experience this with anyone else but me. 
So how does that work if the woman is a pleaser too? Do you let her please you too or you just all about pleasing her? I will allow it. I will allow it. If her pleasing me is what's going to get her to a level of ecstasy. Right. Like a level of sheer ex- a sheer ecstasy. Like if, if her pleasing me is going to do that. But, if, but it ain't really too much because it's like if a woman say, she just loves sucking dick, but you probably don't suck dick good. Right. Or uh, up to my qualifications or specifications, you know, it's just, it's certain shit that I, it's certain shit that you may be a novice in and you may think you're an expert. And I feel like I don't want to meet nobody that I got to, that got to undergo tutelage. I don't want to have to be teaching you how to do nothing. Like, So how you like your dick up? The eight, right? Yeah, I like my dick eight. Yeah. Um, I don't want no woman who suck dick. That ain't appealing to me. I want a woman who eat dick. But like to the back of her throat, down her throat? It depends. I mean, is her, does it, does her mouth, does it, can I tell the difference between her pussy and her mouth? If I can't tell the difference, then she's doing a wonderful job. She's excellent. Good girl. But other than that, I just... So what about mm-hmm. the ass? You fucking the ass too? I have. You don't like it? It depends. I done met women that were super clean, that took care of themselves, and that was super clean, but that's just not my go-to. So they don't be clean? What you mean super clean? Because some don't be clean? Is that what it's not. They're the woman. Uh, most women don't walk around with the little enema thing in their purse ready right. to get they self right. an enema before right. they come right. to you. Right. Most women don't say, I'm not going to eat because... I'm going to do this with him. They don't do that. You done went ate food and all that, and it's only, you know what I'm saying? It's your digestive system we talking about. You have to clean yourself out. Yeah, but some men, they okay with you not cleaning yourself out okay. because that's just their fetish. That's, fecal, or that's, that's, that's fecal matter. Yeah, they like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not into that. That's fecal matter. That's infection. Yeah, some of y'all have fetishes out there. Y'all have told me about them. So you have a fetish about a woman? I appreciate the woman. I appreciate everything about a woman. Like, Mm -hmm. femininity. Mm -hmm. Like, everything about the woman. Like, I I just love femininity. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's like art in motion. Mm -hmm. It's like a woman that's really feminine and in tune with her femininity, she gonna almost move, like, with the universe. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be mechanical. Right. It's gonna flow. It's gonna be... Her rhythmic pattern is going to be different from a woman that's not in tune. Right. She's going to move like the ocean almost. She's going to move like nature. Uh, like what? Nature. Like oh, okay. The trees, how they sway right. when the, when the, how the blades of grass sway right. when the wind blows. Mm-hmm. She's going to be in tune. So if you don't deal with like ass play like that, what about like urine? Yeah. Like. I love that. Like, urine is for us, like, I let you piss in my mouth, then I come kiss you. I love for a woman to piss in my mouth. No, like, you piss in my mouth, and then I come and tongue kiss you afterwards. I never had that done. Oh, but okay. I love for a woman to piss in my mouth. That's beautiful. You never had that one done either? What? A woman pissing in your mouth. Yeah, I done yeah. had a woman pee in a cup while we was driving, and I drunk it. Oh, okay. Well, Period. Right there. Yes. Because it was just nothing... I was so infatuated with this woman to where it was just nothing about her that was nasty. Like, mm. and then she super clean. She like me. She drink number water all day, so her piss ain't got no taste. Right. Like, and you notice know that that's how you survive too. Like, if you're in a desert somewhere and need something to drink, you're just supposed to drink your urine. I haven't been in the desert and needed to survive. Well, <laughs> I saw I something. Wouldn't know. Like, I saw something. I know, but I'm a big skeptic. Like, yeah. everything that I tell you, I'm going to speak from a standpoint of Yeah. Experience. Well, I saw it on, like, a movie. Yeah. That's and cool. I didn't know that, though, watching a movie. And they had nothing to drink, and she yeah. had to pee to That's, her that's a movie. But I'm yeah. talking about, like, anything no, I tell you is going to be something that I personally experienced. Yeah. Because I am a big skeptic. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm super, I'm, I'm a super big skeptic. Like, I got to see for myself. Or right. Can you show me or demonstrate it in front of me? Or mm-hmm. That's just the person I am. I don't try to be like this, but I always been like that since a child. Like, I, I want to see. I ask questions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever had, have you ever nutted 
up a female's nose and she coughed it out and spit it back on your dick and sucked it some more. No, no, I haven't had that experience. Oh, okay, y'all. We're trying to see what he haven't done, y'all. And I'm trying to see what he has. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I haven't had that experience. You haven't had that experience. Um. Okay, so how many people have you had sex with at one time? Like, how many? Like, more than one. Like, the most. Like, in the bedroom? Mm-hmm. I don't know. So you've had a threesome before, I'm it's assuming. Yeah, so you can't tell me. So it's been a lot, maybe? It no, ma'am. Time. I have been to like a, um, God, she going to kill me for saying this. <laughs> I had went to a, um, a swingers resort. Mm-hmm. And it was like a, like an orgy. Mm-hmm. But I didn't participate in it. It was just beautiful being in the environment. Just like watching. everybody being naked, everybody mm-hmm. being free. Mm-hmm. And it was just beautiful being in the environment. But you didn't partake in it. No, we did this other thing where they had fluffers come in and fluff us. Like a fluffer is the person that prep you, that yeah. get the woman with, get yeah. the man yeah. erect before you have sex with your partner. Mm-hmm. I done had something like that go on. What? Okay, so, hmm. Okay, so, do you like submissive women? Mm. Or do you like dominant women? It depends, because I done met some of the most sexually dominant women that were submissive with me. Yes, because and, it's you. And, and and I ask them why, and they say, because it's the energy it's that the you energy. exude. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what you mean? And a lot of women tell me that your energy is not, mm-hmm. it's almost like it's not human. I didn't have them tell me it was God. Like I didn't have them tell me it was like animalistic, like right. a creature, like right. like majestic, like a lion or something. Mm-hmm. I didn't have women tell me that. Right. But I always tell people too, like um, a woman will submit to a certain man. It's the energy of you know how he comes off. Well, and- I I, go- I govern. Hmm. I govern with. I'm a govern a woman. Mm-hmm. With power, class, and authority. I'm mm-hmm. not going to... I'm here to protect you. Like, if if I'm with a woman, I'm here to protect you. Like, me and my woman, we have arguments sometimes about her going to that door, opening that door. Like, I'm going to open the door for you. Mm-hmm. I told you, you don't touch no door handles. And that's just... Even on Mad Day, I'm still going to open the door for you because that's just how I was taught. A woman don't touch no door handles around me. And we had like, oh, well, babe, I'm sorry. I'm just used to doing it by myself. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But I need you to understand that this is not how that's going. I'm going to open the door for you. You don't go out the door in front of me. I'm here to protect you. What? And so, so I have that problem because I guess I'll just be gone. So I that definitely just come from in front That of me. just comes from you exhibiting a level of independence. Yeah. You know, you haven't had anybody preside over you or govern you. Right. And I hate to say it with that term, but. That's feel like a man supposed to protect a woman. It's right. just how I feel. Right. Okay. Um, okay, so I don't know if anyone ever asked you this before. I'm not, I'm not sure, but do you watch porn? No, ma'am. Have you ever watched porn? I used to. Did you have a certain type of porn you would watch? <laughs> like a favorite kind of porn? I don't know. I just used to watch, go scroll through everything until I find a, something that something that, that resonate with me. But right. now I don't watch no porn because that shit fuck your neuro paths up. Explain. Like watching porn, it it fuck your brain up neurologically. It, it's a false sense of self. When you watch porn, you feel like those are actors. That's not real people. Yeah. And you feeling like porn supposed to be, you feel like sex supposed to be like that. And it's not. Sex is very sacred. Them people just on that acting. Well. That ain't, that ain't them paid actors. Yeah, because it is um, some people that watch porn to learn things. Because they don't know how. And it's also. They, they but, got sex education that mm-hmm. teach you the spiritual side of sex. Mm-hmm. That's way greater than watching porn and it give you a greater respect for your partner mm-hmm. when you watching porn they don't be respecting their partner it ain't no like when i when i deal with a woman this intimate mm-hmm. i'm about to put my love in this right i'm about to give her all of me right 
Like, I'm going to give up my energy. We about to exchange energy. Right. It's going to be different. It's not dick and pussy. Right. Like, not, to me, like, porn is kind of grotesque in nature to me. Mm -hmm. I don't even care to watch that. I mean, I've, I've watched it. I don't watch it like that, but, like, I like it sometimes, like, to be on play or something, like, for the extra noises and moans and stuff. Sometimes it depends on, like, what's going on. But, I mean, I'm nah, okay with it. it don't nah, there's but... something else that's beautiful, too, like mm -hmm. a woman that's... Uh, a woman that's a noise maker, a mm -hmm. woman that allow her allow her throat chakra to be open. Right. When she making noise, right. And she comfortable enough to make noise. Cause right. I, I do talk a little bit during. Well, I talk. Uh, I communicate yeah. during sex. I do. Yes, I'm like that too. And it is yes, some women. Lord. What you say? Say yes, Lord. <laughs> what you be saying? It depends on my partner. I don't know. I'm just in the moment. So you say different things. Yes, ma'am. What? Yeah, I be talking like y'all know me. Like, but I like the kind of talk I like to do is like, fuck your bitch pussy daddy. Like, that's how I like to talk. And then, like, while like the person's fucking me, he like this daddy pussy, like this my bitch pussy. Yeah. Like, I like that rough kind of talk. Like, I like to start off sex, like, you know, it's sensual and all that kind of stuff. But then I want to get to like the fucking, like the crazy shit. Yeah, you shit. get excited. Yes, like the adrenaline. And like, then the sometimes I be having a, um, I have to tone it down because sometimes I get too excited. Oh. And you know when I get too excited, I get to going because I'm not, I mean, to be honest with you, and I mean this is what I'll do. Respect, this ain't regular dick. Right. So sometimes I got to I gotta be careful and not be, get too excited because, you know, I could hurt something. So. What I you just, can hurt? Her, Them? Her cervix. But ain't that what you're supposed to do? Cervi cervical stimulation can feel good, but you know sometimes you can, it, it is a thing that's going too deep or applying too much pressure. So, have you ever fisted a woman? No, ma'am. That don't. That wouldn't do nothing for me. I mean, to but you it, haven't tried it, so how would you know it wouldn't do? What nothing I'll for you? do respect. I got a big long dick. I ain't got time to be playing with no fist. I'm gonna give you dick. I'm not here to give you no fist. Mm. I. Mm. You can't take the dick. So what you gonna do with my my hands? Look, my hands bigger than your face. Like it may just be something that she likes. This may be a crazy yeah, like. If she taking a fist, then she is she not for me. With all due respect, it can close back up though. It's not like it's and I, and I know yeah, pussy pussy uh, do close back up. It take the shape of the dick, but I'm gonna be all the way honest with you. With all due respect, I'm that's not just that's just not my fetish. I'm just right. not in the fist in a woman. Right. Because, you know, they fist, and you can also put the arm in a woman, too. I'm already putting the arm in her. What? Can, how many inches is your dick? I don't know, but it's decent. It's decent. And I say that because I really, I really used to think I had a small dick. Because my yeah. little brother, I hate to say this, he going to kill. My little brother dick like 18 inches. Damn. So I used to think my dick was small. But I'm, you know, I'm blessed. I'm a ruler. But 18 inches. Yeah. But I'm, you know, you know, we, you know, when you're young, you, you know, when yeah. you're young, all y'all, y'all grow up, everybody in the same house, y'all grow up fucking together. You know what right. I'm saying? Baby, not grow up fucking together. Oh, okay. Okay, so. You know, like, if a girl comes spend a night, when we kids, we middle school, you know, if a girl comes spend a night, she for all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really probably that's really how that when you live I in the ghetto. That. Oh, like okay. that's really how that go. Y'all have sleepover shit. You went through that, Dre? Damn, I ain't never go through that, y'all. But mean, my mom ain't let us go nowhere. So probably I that's mean, probably I'm why. I'm just saying, like when you when you like when you young and you we played mom and dad and all that coming up when we was kids. Like we was children doing all that shit. Mm -hmm. You got bigger cousins and shit right. and all that shit. Like, you went through all that shit when we was little. What? Oh, Lord. Okay, so during sex, I'm assuming you like to do all the um, aggressive shit, like pulling her hair, slapping her, holding the nose, the spitting. Do you do spit play? It depends on how into it I am. <laughs> it and depends. How, and, how, and how it depends. Like, it, I done had women that I was just, you know, 
you know, I'm just into her. I'm just into her head. Mm-hmm. It was her head was just so deadly mm-hmm. to where, you know, I had to grab her hand, just kiss on her mouth, and spit That's in her it. mouth, and put dick back in her face. I just, I had to. Because yes. it just was a beautiful experience. But yeah. there's some women like, you know, I can't wait till you get up. Are you finished? Yeah, because this, I'm not enjoying this. You or them? That, them, I, that dick gonna, I can't wait till you get out of me. Because that dick gonna, that dick gonna show you that you, that it's not enjoyable. It then went limp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I like all that spit play and stuff. Mm. I like like that. I, you spit on the face and you spit in the mouth and spit back and y'all go back. I've done forth. all that. I've I done all that. I mean, but I'm just saying there's some women that I got to be into you. You got to be into all Super into that. you. Yeah, because like, you don't do that with everybody. If you just really eating that dick, just you eating that dick off the bone, then you just eating that dick off the bone. And yeah, I grab a woman here and spit in her mouth, you know, kiss her. This bitch, nah, you a dog slut. And, Put that dick back in her face. I mean, yeah, I done had that happen before. But then there's some women that just not, you're not into what you're doing. You don't love what you do. You're not a real dick eater. Right. You're just playing. you horse playing. Right. So you like the saliva, the deep throat, and but making noises, the crazy. Like it, you depe- like the it depends. It, it, it depends. I done had some clean, some neat head, but it was, it was, it was beautiful. I done had some neat head before. I done had some slappy head that was bullshit. Really? Yeah, you just doing a you doing a bunch of spitting, but you ain't got no pressure behind that suction. That. Yeah. Yeah, you need to unclog that vacuum cleaner, man, because your suction that, that holes ain't is clogged up. Ain't no suction on this bitch. This bitch is wetting my shit up. Mm. Ain't no pressure behind it. Yeah. So it it just depends on your partner. So I didn't know like women be out here like sucking dick like that but it wasn't no pressure like just a lot a lot of saliva but they yeah, not really you just putting your lips around that bitch you ain't you you know you just putting it in your mouth to be honest with right you. you ain't really eat you ain't really no dick eater right well, yeah, no, we eat and dick, then you know right? most women that like that listen to my music and things of that nature mm-hmm. you know when they meet me they try to mm-hmm. live up to the but i'm really living like that right so right i'm not when you catch me somewhere else i'm not going to just be talking about sex and all right. that. I put that in my music because, you know, that's just something that I just celebrate. I celebrate, you know, a healthy sexual relationship between a man and a woman is just beautiful right. to me for some reason. Okay, it's so it's like it's art. Right. It's God. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's the um the latest thing you said that you're gonna stop talking about eating ass in your music? I said it. But are you gonna really stop? <laughs> It depends. I mean, my alignment been kind of shifting lately. And my just alignment been kind of shifting. I've been more excited about things that's, like, non-sexual. That's crazy. I've been hearing it from men lately. Like, they just not even worried about sex lately. Yeah, my alignment been kind of shifting. Like, I've been kind of getting... You too, Dre? I've been, in, I've been into a higher realm of existence. With myself, and it's just been beautiful on my journey. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there'll be times that I do experience great sex with my partner, but it's other ways to be intimate besides just dick in the pussy. It is, it is. And y'all know that, see, this is one thing I told like, y'all. Like, that. I love with my woman, I love taking road trips with her. Like, I love driving like long distances, and we just talk and have mm-hmm. deep conversations. and. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's mm-hmm. just beautiful. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just where I'm at with it. Now I'm not trying to sound like no nerd or nothing. No, you but good. I know this sex talk, but just I'm kind of growing. Yes. Um, but, you know, I tell y'all all the time that you need to be able to stimulate a man's mind. Like, you can stimulate a man's mind sexually without even touching each other. She need to stimulate my life. She don't need to stimulate my mind. She need to stimulate my life. Because anybody could talk good as a bitch. Well, do you stimulate my life? Do you add value to my life? Okay, but if you're not adding value to my life, then shit, <laughs> I'm giving you all this grade A dicksmanship for nothing. I'm just giving you good energy, and you taking it and running off with it. Do, you, do we compliment each other? Yeah. It's about balance. Like, I feel like, I feel like we supposed to make each other better. We grow. And as we grow, we both become better. Right. That's either we grow together or we grow apart. That's it. 
Right. So it ain't you, you ain't stimulating my mind. I can call somebody and just talk about fucking over the phone if I need my mind stimulated. Yeah, but I'm not talking about sex. Like you can stimulate a man's mind. Like the same thing you just said. Like taking road trips. Like talking about some shit. There's so many ways to stimulate a man's mind instead of just I'm like in, taking your clothes off being sexually. I'm intrigued by intelligence. Well, see, that's what when I'm I saying. A, when I meet an intelligent woman that can teach me things, mm-hmm. I'm intrigued by that. Like mm-hmm. I met this woman. And it's so crazy. It's so crazy because I'm uh, I'm supposed to be meeting up with her today. Mm-hmm. And our conversations are so, our conversation, like we really have intellectual intercourse. And when I say intellectual intercourse, mm-hmm. like intimacy just means to know somebody. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I always learn new things about life, whether it be real estate, whether it be something. And it's like, Business is very sexy to me. Mm -hmm. Like, that's very sexy when a woman could teach me about business or how to become a better businessman. And what's Mm -hmm. crazy is a lot of my business savvy has come from a woman that saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. I'm smiling about it now because I really fought her on this. I was like, man, fuck that. Mm -hmm. And I had to come back around and be like, you know what? You was right. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got her smile. You got him smiling, girl. Who I, I can't okay. admit. I can't admit when I'm wrong because I'm right. stubborn a little bit. Right. I'm Aquarius, so I'm mm-hmm. very, I'm very stubborn. I didn't know Aquarius was stubborn. Hey, I'm stubborn a little bit, a little mm-hmm. bit, not too much. I'm adventurous by nature, mm-hmm. but I am stubborn. So, mm-hmm. I guess basically I've been learning how to get outside, get out of my own way, mm-hmm. in a sense. But that's sexy to me when a woman is intelligent and could teach me things. Like, she not slutty because she got to be. Mm-hmm. Like, she not selling pussy. She not mm-hmm. doing this out of desperation because mm-hmm. of my status. Mm-hmm. She not fucking me to get ahead. She mm-hmm. already got a she bag. Got, right, right. She, she already got a bag. Mm-hmm. So, she just love dick. Right. Like, and she spiritual with it. Like, mm-hmm. when you meet a woman like that, that's a healer. Right. That's not no woman that need to fuck to pay the bills. Mm-hmm. This woman is just naturally just like this. Right. That's when you enter. That's that goddess energy. Mm-hmm. She's self-sustained. Right. She don't need you. You don't need her, but we want each other. Like, that's beautiful to me. Mm-hmm. So y'all going to be fucking? Oh, no. Oh, I had to ask y'all because what he was the way he was saying, I thought that's what he was talking about. For me, nah, we've had sexual conversations before, but it's not, it's not like that. Okay, like she, that. she wanted a few that could pick up. She was like, you, you just give off like, like sexual energy, just it, it, it oozes out of your pores, and I just we talk about how like, like it. Like if I'm, I wake up in the morning, my dick be just that, you know, that bitch be a cannon, right? And I'm like, instead of just jacking off or masturbating, I go straight and work out. I put that energy into my workout because it's all energy. That's why you work out every morning. No, that's not why I work out every mm-hmm. morning. Working out is beneficial to me. It's my mm-hmm. therapy. It allows my brain to work. Mm-hmm. Y'all release endorphins, right? You know, it's beautiful. If I don't work out, I'm going to feel weird. Right. Like, I work out because I love it. I love the way it feels. I love the way I look. I love the stamina. I love mm-hmm. everything about it. I love the posture that it right. gives me. I love those things. I love feeling good. I'm, mm-hmm. That's my drug It's feeling good. Right. And when I work out, I feel amazing. Right. Yeah, you do. I mean, you do just have that presence and energy about yourself, but you know that. And I think anyone who has that about themselves, they know that. So you're not even worried about that when they tell you that because you know you give that all right. Well, it's not a compliment. It's not a compliment? It's not a compliment to me. I don't take it as flattery because I know why. It's because of what I do. Now, if I was engaging in other shit before I came in here, then you know my energy would reek of that too mm-hmm. whatever I was indulging in mm-hmm. okay so what's the most um, let's see what's the most wildest or the most non-common place that you've had sex at mm. 
outside of a restaurant. Like in a car? No, outside. Like on the street? Yes, ma'am. You want to give us other details? Well, we was having a, a like a kind of a me and this woman, and I'm not gonna say her name. Right. No. She 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 good people, but it's so crazy though. She one of them women that don't submit to nobody. She always want to argue with every man, but she submit to me for some reason. So I guess we was having a little argument. Not really an argument, but it was kind of an argument. And, well, one time, well, it, I got to give you a backstory. Okay. One time, see, me, I'm different. Like, when a woman pissed me off, I ain't about to, oh, and do all, all that horse playing to me, all mm-hmm. that talking. And you, right. I don't do all that. She was like, I, I'm, we was in Colorado one time, and I had a concert, and she was with me. She came with me. And I think my children was there or something, and I didn't know my children was going to be there. And she was like, I can't, if she ain't, you ain't say nothing then. But she waited till she was going somewhere and FaceTime in. I think I'm just about to go home and da 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 da. I completely understand, babe, if that's what you want to do. I ain't say nothing. When she got back to the room, man, come on, I nailed her stupid ass in there. I'm talking about all that playing. I'm talking about dick all in your stomach. For just <laughs> yeah, for just playing with me like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she got in compliance. And she was like, that was so amazing. You know, I said, that was your level five. I said, I've been giving you level one, level two. I said, but I had to take you to level five because you was being disrespectful. You know. So you like to control the woman like no, that? No, I ain't control her. I just had to show her, you know. I like the men like that. Yeah, y'all. I just had to show her. I ain't never had I you know, I was making love to her at first, mm-hmm. but I had to go ahead and put her hands behind her back and show her. Mm-hmm. You know, don't play with me like that. Never in your fucking life. So anyway, it wasn't nothing. It was no big deal. She had to be reprimanded. So anyway, after that, you know, she had developed a, a different level of respect for me. Right. After that, she already had that respect. She knew it was there. Right. And I guess, you know, sometimes a woman going to really, a strong woman, she going to try a man to see. Mm-hmm. Is he really that thing? <laughs> I'm really that thing. Right. So long story short, like everything was beautiful. She was in compliance. So another time she had came to see me was in a in a restaurant and I guess she was just building a fake case because we had a difference in opinion. Or I think I was a lot of times my answers be I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know. I don't honestly know. Like right. I could tell you I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, but it don't never really turn out how we want to. So I'd be like, I'm going to just see how it go. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, you need to know, like, what does it look like for you? And uh, okay, mm-hmm. whatever, what the fuck ever. But she just kept going with it a little bit. And I think, you know, I don't drink alcohol. Mm-hmm. And she had a little bit to drink. And I think the drink had to give her that liquid courage again. <laughs> and then she had forgot. You know, sometimes, you know, they be forgetting, you know. They can't believe it's not butter. They be forgetting sometimes. So she had kind of forgot a little bit. So I had just grabbed her face and kissed her. I took her downstairs. We, I paid for my chick, took her downstairs, took her in the bathroom, got her together. Then we got in the car. Right when we was driving off, I seen they had some people, some janitors outside working. I just pulled out the car put that bitch in her again outside, just had to show her, like, I don't give a fuck who see this dick, whatever, hey, bitch, I'm going to show, I want you, right here, I don't care who looking, mm-hmm. you know, and that's, I'm not proud of that, but it happened. Not you're you not know? proud of it. So how do you feel if a woman gave you that same energy like that you want? I like, like the, I like to have sex outside. That's just my thing. But this aggressiveness and everything that you have, I'm like, not, what if the woman I'm not like aggressive. I'm not aggressive. Aggressive is, you know, that's aggressive to me. Like, like somebody trying to grab you, that's aggressive. But aggressive as far as like taking the lead, and just you like the way I think you the are. word you may be looking for in terms of me is assertive. You don't think you're aggressive no. sexually either? No, I'm not sexually aggressive. No, sexually aggressive to me is somebody who just want to get it in, pound the bitch. I don't want to pound the bitch. I get excited sometimes, and it, right. did, you know, that did go deep. But other than that, I don't. That ain't nothing that I'm just trying to do. I like to feel the pussy. Mm-hmm. I like to feel the pussy on my dick. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just me. 
So sex with you is an experience. It's not just fucking. Yes, Lord. Okay, y'all know how they say that, so I hear him. Um, okay. Okay, baby, Mr. Kip. <laughs> baby, y'all, Mr. Gates is something else. Okay, y'all know every time he opens his mouth, baby, you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. But it's good because I know you be saying, like, you different and all that. Um, I tell people all the time that don't look at stuff as like you're different or you're weird. Like, everybody's different. So it's I like, don't. what's your normal? That's your yeah, normal. I, right now, I don't, else I don't look at it like I'm different because what you eat don't make me shit. Right, and right. What I eat don't make you shit. Everybody got their preferences, right? And what they like. I just aim to please my partner. Like I don't feel like, I feel like somebody that man, I have got an in beat the pussy. That's like kind of yeah. like toxic masculinity right. to right. me. Right. Or uh, you ain't working. You ain't got no big long dick. You right. just want to kill something because you've been watching porn and you insecure because of porn and you want to take the exhibit this with a with a woman and we get your nuts out the sand mm-hmm. and get your manhood mm-hmm. back or your masculinity back. That ain't mm-hmm. what it is for me. I want to see, can I make this woman come? Right. Can I make this pussy come? Like, I love when women tell me, I'm not a squirter. Let me try. Right. I want to try. They came on, they say they not one because every woman can squirt. Y'all just haven't met someone well, who can make y'all squirt. I haven't had any negative experiences with that. Every woman that told me they wasn't a squirtle, they, they right. became one. Right. That's how, okay, I'm going to throw this in there, y'all. That's how I feel about men that tell me that they've never nutted off head. But baby. I have. I turned them into a believer. I, ha- I have. I done, I done had women suck my soul out of my body. Yes, but it's some men who say they don't nut from head at all. And yeah, I love they, them kinds. I'm like, baby, come they here. Just, they just, they haven't had the right experience. Mm-hmm. But I done had women I'm talking about suck my soul out of my body. Eat right. that dick off the bone. I'm talking about where you, yeah. you would think you was on a roller coaster. You know how mm-hmm. you be bracing yourself mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. I done had, had head like that before. What? I'm talking about a monster. Then when you done, yes. she's still going. Yeah. And make that dick get back hard. Mm-hmm. Like I done had that happen before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. Yes. Not shout out to her. Yeah, it was a pleasurable experience. Okay, so what's what's like how what's the time frame that you like to have sex? In the daytime after I leave the gym. I don't really like nighttime sex. For how long? The longest I've had sex was like maybe five to six hours. I got a lot of stamina. Mm-hmm. And at the least, we're going to be about an hour and a half, two hours. Mm-hmm. It depends on my partner. Yeah, my least is. I like I like my minimum to be three. I can work with two. I don't like I don't like to fuck, to have sex on a full stomach. I like for my stomach to be empty. Oh well, no yeah, food. of course. Like, right. I don't like I can't my I perform better on an empty stomach. Right. I mean, yeah. I, I only yeah. eat one meal a day anyway. Right. So I get up and go straight to the gym, man. I probably eat about seven o'clock. I mm-hmm. try to be in the bed about eight. Sometimes I'm in the bed like nine. Mm-hmm. But last night I went out. Right. But I left. It's crazy. I left the club at 4 a.m. and mm-hmm. went straight to the gym. You did? Yeah. What? I mean, so, yeah, a lot of people like to But eat. I had already took a nap before, yeah. before they called. Man, come on, let's go. Right. I'm like, all right, come on, let's go. Yeah, some people um will do off an empty stomach and some will. Like me, I, this guy used to mess, mess with, used to have a far fetish. So he used to always want me to like have a full stomach so I could like fart and he could smell it like while I eat my ass. Yeah. But you know, that's just his fetish though. So it just depends to each his own. I had this woman and I used to ask her, when do you fart? Really? And she farted one time when we were asleep and I just started laughing so loud <laughs> and she was laughing and she, st- she woke up laughing. It was crazy. I don't, so, okay, how do you feel about that women, like, in your presence, like, passing gas and, like, taking a shit? Because me, y'all, y'all know how I am, y'all. I'm I'm just, a, I got a question for you. Okay. Do you go in the bathroom with your man when he shit? I was just, y'all know what I was getting to. I say this all the time. Like, on my man or whoever I'm fucking if he, with. If he, he on the toilet shit and do you go in the bathroom I'm and talk to him? I'm coming sitting there with you and we going to talk. We going to be on my phone. Woman. We've, I, that woman. don't bother me, y'all. I you're tell y'all woman. that all the time. Now, you're a good woman, Death though. Like. Not. Like, you a good woman. Like, if you would go in the bathroom while your man's shitting and talk to him while he's shitting, you a good woman. A lot of people going to think I'm, 
what I'm saying. He's so gross for that. But mm-hmm. it's like, if my woman will come sit in a bathroom with me while I'm mm-hmm. shitting, without me telling her to, mm-hmm. that's like a beautiful thing. Because, mm-hmm. babe, I miss you. Yes. Mm-hmm. I just like to talk. Y'all know I'm a talker. So, like, with my ex, like, he will go and take his shit, and I'll sit, like, on the tub. Because it was like, in our bathroom was just the toilet. So he'll keep the door open, but I was right to sit on the tub and talking about everything and on the phone. Like, I don't know, y'all don't look at the smell and all that. Like, I'm just like, it ain't bothering me. He become, he he your baby. Yeah. He not your, that's your baby. Yeah, I don't know. Like, when a woman just come here and clean your ears or Mm -hmm. clean something out your face Mm -hmm. or something, that's beautiful to Mm -hmm. me when a woman just pay attention to the small detail. Mm -hmm. But that take a real woman to, Mm -hmm. like, that's like I'm be like stop. She be like you my baby. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do this for you. You my right. baby. Right. And I love that when a woman like nurture me. Right. Like when a, when I meet a woman that's really nurturing like mm-hmm. that, that's beautiful to me. Do you like your ass lick? The eight? Not really. I don't no. even care for my balls and shit being with. Really. Mm-mm. I done had a woman with a long tongue and like go down there, but I don't like like my gooch and shit. Right. I don't like my balls with. What? So not the dick and the balls and the mouth together. You don't like all that? Mm-mm. No. I done had a woman, like she was eating my dick mm-hmm. and her tongue went under my balls. Right. And that was cool, but when mm-hmm. she just sucked my balls and shit, I don't like my balls with like that. I got feeling there, but it don't be no feeling like when she eating that dick. Right, right. Like, I don't care for that. Okay, but well. But that's said, that the irony in it says the guy who loves to eat ass. Like, my eat. dick don't get hard unless I eat ass for some reason. Well, it get hard, but if I eat ass, it get a different kind of hard. You know what? So, with it's, me. It's like. When a woman just be so beautiful, mm-hmm. and all her asshole and shit just be beautiful mm-hmm. and no hair, and mm-hmm. it's the same color. It ain't that mm-hmm. black line through. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It's just all the same color. It's just beautiful. It just seems like when I be just when I stick my tongue deep in it, far as it go, and I talk and I confess all my sins. It seems like all my sins be forgiven. Like. It seems like ain't nothing holier than an asshole. Mm-hmm. And it just make my, it just do something to my dick. It just mm-hmm. make it hard. I I don't know why. I could eat pussy all day, but it's something about when I eat a woman's ass, it just, it, it be that hard with, with the curve at the end. Because mm-hmm. my dick curve up. Mm-hmm. Like, at the end, it curve, the curve y'all like. So that's what I was about to say. Like, when I, like, when I suck a man's dick or eat his ass, like, it make my pussy real wet. A lot of women tell me that. It's just, especially if you like doing it and not just doing it just to, you know, be in the a lot of but. A lot of women tell me that. A lot of women tell me that because, like, I, I create an environment where it's comfortable. Like, when mm-hmm. I get mad at a woman, I don't ever bring up nothing on her past. Mm-hmm. Like, even a woman that didn't had a lot of sexual partners, mm-hmm. she got credentials. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you got a lot of field experience. Mm-hmm. So I don't look at that no kind of way because right. I'm not insecure about my dick. I know this is the best sex you're going to ever have in your life. Right. Okay. So that I'm was saying. just practice. You had to go right. through all that to get over here to me. Right. Okay. If well, I like you, I like you. Right. Okay. Well, before we go, um, Mr. Gates, can you give us like one sexual tip? It's about a sexual tip. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a sex tip. It's about you and your partner. It's not about it's about you and your partner. It's about y'all growing together sexually. It's not about one person being better than the other mm-hmm. one or one person being more experienced. Like mm-hmm. I say, either you grow together mm-hmm. or you grow apart. Mm-hmm. And I feel like communication is key. Mm-hmm. And just, it's about energy at right. the end of the day. If you and that person in alignment, mm-hmm. like, y'all got to be in alignment. Mm-hmm. I agree. I can say one thing, though. What? Females that's in the fitness, they they different. <laughs> like, like that. I'm talking about different. Right. Like my like my yoga instructor, she's different. Different how? She's just different. It's it's different. 
I mean, a woman that's vegan, her pussy different. Right. A woman that don't put no animal products in her body, her pussy different. Mm-hmm. Like, if I'm alkaline and a woman not alkaline, mm-hmm. we can offset each other pH levels. A man have pH levels also. Right. You know, a man pH levels could be off balance. A woman pH levels could be off balance. Mm-hmm. Like, a woman, a man could nut in a woman pussy and not get her pregnant, not give her a disease, but off balance her pH. Mm-hmm. Her pH off balance mm-hmm. because of his chemical makeup. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not in, they not in sync. Mm-hmm. So, that's another thing, but like I say, it's about being in sync with your partner. You know, it's it's different. It's different. <laughs> okay, y'all heard his advice, so it's different. What, well, Mister? I don't even know if that was advice, but I, I, look, I asked you and you gave it to me. Then we went on to the yoga instructor, the yoga thing, and all of that. It's so. different. It's like different. it's different. So the women in fitness, like a y'all. woman, a woman that take care of her body, that honor her temple. Mm-hmm. Your body is your temple. A woman that eat healthy, mm-hmm. and a woman that exercise, she's detoxing every day. Mm-hmm. When you sweat, you detox. Mm-hmm. If you get in a stink, a sauna, you detoxing. Right. So this person is naturally detoxing every day. They're gonna be a little different than a person that's just sitting around eating. Hot dogs and hamburgers. But a little different how? Because, like, I don't eat meat, but I know I got good pussy, okay? You don't eat no meat? So, I don't eat, like, if it's, like, little stuff that has to be cooked in something. But as far as, like, going eat, like, some chicken, beef, like, I don't eat no beef, no meat, like, no, no raw stuff like that. I love seafood. So, seafood is my thing. But I strain away from it because of the sodium. But... You keep saying it's different out here out there, but, baby, it's people out here like us, y'all, with good-ass pussy. It is, and I think I think shit. I think <laughs> I think you should take yourself out of the equation because I wasn't I wasn't trying to be insulting towards you. You not, but I gotta speak for the women that do eat. I don't me. give a fuck about them women that eat me because me and you talking right now. Yeah, like Lord to be Jesus. honest with you, I wasn't being insulting towards you. Right. I feel like you had kind of took offense to what I was I saying. I didn't. I Just because you, it you is going to be women that look this like, well, hold on, I eat meat and I know I got good pussy. That's on their body. I'm just telling you my experience. I'm sharing my experience with you. And okay. It's like you had kind of got the like, well, I, and I'm like, no, I'm not attacking you. I'm not insulting you. you. I'm on your side. Okay. I agreed to do this. I wouldn't even be sitting here if I didn't fuck with you. And I appreciate it. I'm just game. saying it was it was really different. Like a person that's putting themselves in all them different positions and holding themselves in them positions. And I guess their I would bodies know. are different. Right. Me being an athlete, my body is different than right. a person that's not an athlete. Right. It's gonna be different. Mm-hmm. So that's what I meant. Like it's different. Mm-hmm. I didn't say it was better or worse. I said different. It's just different. And it's like you kind of took offense to it. I like, didn't. I didn't say it two times. I have it, Mister Gates. I ain't taking offense though. to it. But uh, but of course, y'all know y'all women. They are okay. But you ain't even. We care not about worried them. about them women. We talking me and you talking right now. We not worried about them. They're having. A, they watching me and you have a dialogue. So I want to speak up for them. If that's what you want to do, but oh. we not speaking up for them. We speaking for us. Okay, so okay, I I'm asked not worried you. about who around the corner. I'm worried about me and you talking right now. Okay, so I don't I give asked a fuck you. about what they eat because what they eat don't make me shit. So and what, what I, I eat don't make them shit. Okay, and so when I asked you, you just answered, and I told you I ain't take offense to it. I just like, you did up. though. You were like, you think so? I'm, yeah, you got the. I said, man, what the fuck? I just be like that, Dre. Don't be looking like that. You know how I just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, hold on. Know where that come from? Comparison. Comparison. I used to do that. What you mean? You was like, well, I eat meat and I know I got good ass pussy. Shit, I know women that eat shit. I eat for. I just finished eating meat. So, like, if a nigga tell me, man, bro, I'm a vegan and I my, my vegan dick different, I could believe that because mm-hmm. animal products leaves plaque in the vein right. in the veins. So right. plaque in the blood vessels, you have animal products right. that leaves plaque. Right. So if this nigga telling me he a vegan, he got vegan dick, because I know when I'm on tour, I got vegan dick. Mm-hmm. I'm vegan when I'm on tour. Mm-hmm. He don't have no restricted blood flow. Right. Okay. So I can understand what he mean by he he's at a high level of performance. Mm-hmm. I understand what he's saying. It's just different. Mm-hmm. It ain't better or worse. It's just different. But you was like, man, I know, man, I know. <laughs> like, whoever, who even said that? I was just saying, Mr. Gaze, dang. Like, I wouldn't be here if I ain't fuck with you. Like, 
I appreciate it, Mr. Gates. Yeah. Y'all. Take your pride out of the situation. Okay, I am. Yeah, he's something else, y'all. I'm not. I'm just keeping it real. Like, the people watching, like, we not talking to them. I'm sure they got people that's watching this shit that eat fucking beef. Yeah, but it's just whatever. my mouth. I just, you know, yeah. I just had to say something. I don't know. You just it's like I I was saying like the yoga instructor was mm-hmm. it was different because she live a different lifestyle. It's just different. So you just saying it's different, it's not better, it's just a different no different thing, feeling. No such thing is better or worse. So it's, it's just, just a different. different feeling. So Dre, you've had like Like different... a woman who all right, check it out. Like a person who I know that my sex is better when I'm hydrated. Right. Dehydrated sex ain't good for me. Like if I'm dehydrated, right? I came in here with a gallon of water. I love to be hydrated. Mm-hmm. Like I done met women that experience vaginal dryness due to being dehydrated. Mm-hmm. I like wet pussy. Now if it's men out there, I ain't speaking for for the men. I knew, yeah, yeah, I'm dehydrated, but I, I ain't just saying that. Wouldn't call for. I'm just saying, like, I like I like pussy to be wet. I mean, I probably got people that like sandpaper salads. That's mm-hmm. That's your, that's what mm-hmm. you like. Mm-hmm. I don't judge. I'm mm-hmm. not, I don't judge, but I don't let nobody force their opinions on me either. Right. But I don't judge. Okay. I just, I'm just going off my experiences. Right. Like what's different. Right. Okay, y'all. Well, normally like when the men come here, I normally ask them a question. So we got one more question for you. Oh God, so. no. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want you to take offense. And <laughs> what? Hush up. No. I don't want you to say, well, I eat meat and I know I got good pussy. I don't want you. I don't want it to be one of them. Mr. Gates, I ain't got to do all that, baby. You just did it. Yeah, I ain't got to do all that because y'all already know about me, okay? You so say you speaking for them, them, but I'm like, they don't, not, just, they not even in here. I had to speak up for my girls out there who do eat the meat, okay? Y'all welcome. Ain't nobody say nothing about them to eat meat, though. Okay. You said that. Okay. I said the bitch was different. I'm trying to see what we got to Cause I was just like, hold on, like, okay, like, but I maybe I took so it as like you saying it was better. To, you took offense for yourself, cause I never said it was better. So you would run a tape back. So you took offense. That's to that. what I said. I, well, I ain't take offense. Well, you, now I just, you saying so you agree that you took offense? No, it's not. I took offense, but it's just that I looked at maybe he was saying like it's better, and I'm just like, well, hold I on. I never like, said better. I know you. I right. said different. You right. Different and better and I is took different. Different as better. That's why I was like, well, hold on now, it's y'all. Just different. Okay, Mr. Gates, we moving on to our last question. I'm not trying to harp on that, but you really had just you had, you emitted a lot of emotion. It was kind of strong, you but know? it okay, okay. Y'all. You emitted a lot of strong emotion, and I I'm like, I'm you, like, though. I'm like, I you know, I practice, I exercise emotional intelligence, and I'm like, where is that emotion coming? There is that energy coming from? Because I. Did I say something triggering? No, you didn't. Did I'm a just nigga like, leave you on. for a vegan? Fuck. Boy, shut up. <laughs> Did a nigga leave you for a and woman? Shut and, up. Well, I like this bitch because she don't eat no meat and he left you for her. Is that, that has what never well, happened? I'm just asking, what did I say something that was triggering? Cause you got wow. I'm like, I just what said, the fuck? Yeah, y'all know how my mouth is now. I just be saying stuff now. Mm-mm. Okay. No, you don't just be saying stuff. I do, and you even let me think that I was like triggered. Or you might be triggered, and I know it, cause I get triggered by certain shit. But I wasn't. I get triggered. It's certain shit that be triggering for me. Oh uh, yeah, for all of us. But that didn't trigger me. I just like hold on, your girl over here got something, and I be eating shit. So I don't. It's about balance. When I'm on tour. <laughs> I'm vegan. When I'm mm-hmm. not on tour, I'm eating steak. Right. That's yeah, just me. Yeah. When right. I'm on tour, I tour twice a year, so I'm more vegan than mm-hmm. I am a, a, a animal product eater. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. do no dairy though, because it right. causes me to have mucus. Mm-hmm. So like, mm-hmm. but as far as I eat whatever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it just take longer for my body to digest right. animal products. So right. I eat meat like when I'm not on tour, I eat meat like once every two weeks. Mm-hmm. But if I'm on tour, I don't eat no meat at all. Right. So that's like, <laughs> it's about balance for me. Right. Okay, so this last question. <laughs> okay, so this last question. So I want to know how, you nervous? No, no. I'm not, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, just going to listen to the question. <laughs> okay, so the last question is, I want you to tell us, like... Tell you? To tell me, Mr. Gates. I want you to tell me... I want you to pick one item 
out of the grocery store and it can't be a food product and I want you to tell me how you would, I want you to give us a vision of you and I in some kind of sexual play with that product, that one product that you pick out of the grocery store. You going to take offense to this. <laughs> I ain't you gonna are, say nothing. You, I think you're gonna take offense I'm to not, this. I'm not, I'm not gonna With say nothing. With all due respect, I hope you don't take offense to this. My mind not even visualizing you sexually right now. And especially with no motherfucking food product. It's not a food product. It's in the food, in the market. Like, it's so much that's in. So, it can't be no fruits or nothing. It can't be no food product. Like, so a I gotta go get no a food. loaf of bread. That's still food. Oh. You want me to, can I give you an example? Of what no, someone said before? I, I'm, I'm okay. What a nigga once said, a screwdriver or something? No, he said uh, <laughs> a, 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 plunger? A, a plunger. And he was like putting it like on my pussy and just like going back and forth. Like I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have any <laughs> sexual visualization of us and no. Okay, well, can you pick somebody else? No, ma'am, it's not that. This is just not where my brain at right now. And just even for sake of argument, I couldn't even make nothing up right now because I'm honestly just not there, like, right now. I'm kind of vibrating a little different right now. Okay, that's And fine. I don't even use toys at all. You don't? No. Mm, okay. I don't. Okay. Now, I done had a woman. Now, I done had the little, uh, I done had my woman wear a butt plug. Mm -hmm. That vibrate off my phone. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. when we just, it just, it, she got the butt plug in, I make it vibrate. I done had that. Mm -hmm. But I don't just, I can't just, I don't just use no toys with my woman. Like, right. this, this is, this is something, this is different. Right. This ain't that. Right. With all due respect. I mean, there's people that would never experience that, mm -hmm. but this is something different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Real different. <laughs> okay, y'all heard Mr. K. Shane. I hope I'm not a party pooper or nothing like You're that. You're not. It's fine. I mean, not everyone is going to answer that, but what I mean, yeah, I still just ask I'm, it, you know, I, just because it just, it, yeah, it's just like a crazy question. I can't to see, see what people come up not with. no plunger. Like, that <laughs> That don't do nothing. It's fine. It's just, uh, you know, it's just like. Nigga want to suck on that pussy. What the plunger? What the fuck? <laughs> But because I asked the question, like, okay, in a grocery store, no food, but pick something. I was just trying to see where your creative mind is at. That's all. That's all. That's it. But you don't have I to answer. I can't even think of the word coconut oil. That's food product, though, huh? You can still use coconut oil. But... Oh, well, that's coconut oil is a natural antibacterial, so I use coconut oil anyway. So that's a net. It's, it's all natural. It's an antibacterial, and it's a lubricant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, y'all. We done got Mr. Gates over she, here. She don't like me, y'all. <laughs> Why you say I don't like I, it? I tell the truth. Uh, but it's fine. And Not everyone's going to... And I make her hold herself accountable. <sighs> y'all. Y'all know nobody don't be talking to me like this, y'all. Okay, y'all know How am I that. talking to you? Anyway, y'all, Mr. Gates, I appreciate you for coming over mm, here. I appreciate you for having me. I do. Y'all know Mr. Gates is actually my first guest, but it didn't work out. But this, you've been my last guest, so that's good. Say the best for me. It last. is beautiful because, you know, like our energy, mm -hmm. like our energy. And when I told you this was what, maybe a year ago, I was like, I'm going to do it because mm -hmm. I just believe in what you're doing. And I, right. I just fuck with your energy. I right. ain't never had seen none of your podcasts. Right. I just fuck with you. Mm -hmm. And then. What you want me to tell her? Go ahead. So we be talking on the phone and shit, and she be showing me that long ass tongue and shit. <laughs> her tongue long as a bitch. She be showing me that bitch. I say your tongue looks very healing. And then you know we be telling each other we love each other on the phone. She be crying and shit sometimes. We be talking. What? So you ain't never crying on the phone talking about it's just a blessing. Just a oh, now hold on. He be he taking it too goddamn far now. Mr. Gates, I, I have cried never. Three, I cried three, four times a day. Okay, but I didn't cry. So you never cried on the phone with me well, not one time. I didn't cry. Was, was I she, drunk or something? No, you was just crying. You what was, I was crying about? I'm probably just blessed to be on the phone with a real nigga or something. Okay. I, 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 oh, I was going to tear his ass I up. I think you were just. I don't, I don't think you was just happy or something. You was like telling me thank you. I was a blessing. 
don't know. I think I gave you some words of encouragement or something. Probably, just, I, yeah, maybe I was a little drinking or something. I don't fucking I don't remember. But that. we always be talking on the phone, though. This is my friend, though, yeah. And we be having real deep conversations. We do. And I've been told, I say, I'm going to do it for you because mm-hmm. I just fuck with your energy. She's like, oh, I'll pay you. I'm like, you don't got to give me nothing. Mm-hmm. I just love your energy. Mm-hmm. I love you, so I'm going to do it. And then I had just happened to just be leaving the gym today. I'm like, look, I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to pull up. And I appreciate you for that. But she worse than this on the phone. One day she went, well, in front of her friends when she drunk, she she get real. (laughs) She get loose. I just be chilling. I be having a good time. Mm -hmm. For your birthday. Oh, when ain't nobody get you nothing for your birthday. Mm -hmm. And I had to, we going to speak on that. You didn't have to, but you, yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's good to be appreciated sometimes. He made sure my birthday was nice, yeah, and I appreciate you for that. Yeah, yeah, you, you deserve. Keep telling all our business. Nah, up there? I'm just saying you deserve it, that oh, though. Okay, damn, I'm like he's gonna keep on talking like nah, that. Shit, edit it out. Fuck, you told me to tell. Nah, him. my show is not edited. We leave it just the way. It yeah, is. like you shit, you deserve it. That it's you're cool. a good this person. This is really my friend, though, y'all. Like we be really having like deep combos. He's actually. I ain't never touch it though. Yeah. I ain't never touch her. We ain't never did nothing, y'all. Yet. I ain't never touch her yet. You think you gonna get this? You want me to be honest? Yes. That's not my desire. Mm. You said yet. Yeah, you know, you never know what could happen. Because, you know, it be like that, like, one of my best friends that we just, the person I used to vent to about mm-hmm. everything, we accidentally had sex, and it was just oh. like... <laughs> And I wish we would have never had sex because mm-hmm. I miss, I valued our friendship more. I know. And it's just like sex complicated things for me and that person. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. Like I said, I'll never make the mistake again. Yeah, we ain't going to never have sex. We just going to stay how we are. Yeah, that's that's we not do. really my, that's not really my desire. But like with her, i never forget we were sitting on the couch and she was like, I can put my feet on you. <laughs> and it starts. <laughs> this bitch know I love her feet. <laughs> Play with me. Okay. Oh my God, y'all. This interview will never end. We have to end it. That'd be, yeah, that'd, <laughs> that be, that'd be you won't hold the phone all night. Oh Lord, yeah. Did y'all know this one here loves to talk and I like to talk too? So but he's overall cool, y'all. Y'all just have to really just know him outside of what y'all see and just listen to him because you know he be on that deep shit the way he be talking but it ain't that it ain't that well, yes, it's just that it, it, it get projected mm-hmm. it get projected mm-hmm. it get projected in a negative way mm-hmm. and a lot of times it get misinterpreted mm-hmm. but I'm the best nigga anybody could know yeah he's cool he's really I'm the cool. best nigga anybody could know I'm mm-hmm. 1000 in the game right I'm 1000 all the way around the board I ain't got no flaws right you ain't got no flaws mm mm I be looking for him though Okay, don't everybody have flaws? Everybody got flaws. No, I ain't got no flaws. Okay. God made me beautiful mm. all the way around the board. Mm. Even your imperfections are perfect imperfections. So the shit we think that's imperfect about us be the shit people like. Oh, okay. So I ain't got no flaws. Oh, okay. Well, on that note. Well, again, Mr. Gates, I appreciate your friend for coming by. <laughs> I you. Hopefully you can come by for next season. My next season, another episode next season, you know, next year, if you in town or whatever, and we can go for that. But I just it's going to be bigger than this. It's going to be like a little like <sighs> audience and shit. Listen. Then we could talk to the... Yeah. Listen. Li- look, my New Year's episode was supposed to be like a little thing in the back and with everything. The lit, with the lit cars, with, with the my microphone. Co- I know. I know. Like, look, look where I'm at now from talking about this and it's like an actual show now we planted the seed like oh my god and it's growing yeah and it's gonna keep growing right you manifest the right business. i know so this I ain't can't wait you can't compare your this to what somebody else got mm-hmm. you, we come we growing this bitch mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I we believe growing it. i believe it we ain't stopping we're gonna stay to keep growing and expanding believe in me i appreciate it Dre. it ain't that it's your energy make a motherfucker want to fuck with you right right. see they got some people that's unfuckwittable Mm -hmm. you fuck wittable you just cool (laughs) okay y'all well this was the last 
episode of season one. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your girl for these years. And we've actually had a podcast now. I've done like, what, seven episodes. I appreciate y'all. And just stay tuned for next season. And shit, just, you know, shout out to all my sponsors, Kelly's Closet, um, Bottle Shop Texas, Shop Crave Shoe, Beastie Chicks, all of y'all, Shantae is in Paris for the new year. So my behind the scenes co-host, thank you for rocking with me for all this time. Dre, you know, I so appreciate you. I was able to call Dre this morning, like, look, I got Mr. Gates coming. We got to get to the studio right now. I called him at like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sitting in the middle of the street. <laughs> And guess what? <laughs> we ain't let nothing stop us. Okay. And I told her, I told her this morning, I said, man, I had a a, a situation supposed to take place and it ain't go how I wanted it to go, mm-hmm. but it's like I said it, I said today gonna be beautiful. Mm-hmm. 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 And I when I was leaving out of I had I left the gym and went straight to Whole Foods. I'm leaving out of Whole Foods. I called her at like nine o'clock. She had called me at like eight fifty seven. I called mm-hmm. her back at nine AM. Mm-hmm. Right. So it was just alignment. It, did, it was it meant was. to be. It like was. it it be the times you least expect it and mm-hmm. it just be meant to be. But that was just on your spirit to call me. Yeah, it was. I was like, damn. Our what spirits are way older than us. Our spirits know. Mm-hmm. Like when like it's not an impulse. Mm-hmm. Your spirit know everything you need to do. Mm-hmm. It's just us trusting it. Right. Like you made the call. And right. then you call him and this happened and it's right. just like Right. That's how the universe worked, though. Right. So I, I know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, y'all, again, this is the end of my first season. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what comes from this, Fancy Freaks. But make sure, of course, you like, abundance, and some subscribe. Abundance coming from this shit. Yes. Okay, y'all. We're going into 2023 and make this bigger than ever. Okay. I think I did good for my first season. So. Fucking man. Uh, yeah, I'm with it. So, all right, Fancy Freaks, I will see y'all next year. Y'all be safe. And always remember what I tell y'all. It's always somebody out there who's doing way worse than you. So don't think your situation is too bad after all, okay? Someone's looking at you, wishing they can be in your position right now, okay? You alive. It's okay. Just stay healthy and be great, okay? Bye, y'all, my Fancy Freaks. <laughs>